Good evening. Nearly 700 patients died in hospital while awaiting discharge over a 19-month period from March 2015. That's according to figures released to Scottish Labour under Freedom of Information. The Scottish Government says it's allocated more than £30 million to help tackle the problem. Our social affairs correspondent Reva Alderson reports. Doctors agree when a patient's well enough they should leave hospital. But sometimes it's not possible because there's nowhere suitable to meet the patient's needs. This is bed blocking. Very many of the people who are blocking beds in hospital, if you use that expression, are people who are affected by dementia. If they're very poorly, they have to go in a care home. And if there isn't a care home bed for them, then they have to stay in hospital until they die. The reason for there not being a care home bed can be financial or it can be that the care homes are full. But in the majority of cases, it's a question of organising the finance and that's something we should all do much earlier. The Scottish Government pledged almost two years ago to eradicate bed blocking, but it's still happening with what Scottish Labour calls shocking results. In a 19-month period, almost 700 patients died in hospital, although judged fit enough to be discharged. Almost a quarter of cases, 176, were in NHS Grampian, with Lothian and Lanarkshire health boards close behind. Overall, though, bed blocking is reducing by 9% last year. Labour says that's no consolation to those whose relatives died. This is 700 people who have lost their lives in hospital while waiting for a care package. This could be your mother, your father, your grandmother, your grandfather. Tragic cases and tragic stories. And I think the Scottish Government needs to wake up to the reality of delayed discharge, the impact it's having on patients and families, the impact cuts to local government and social work is having on patients and family, and urgently act. The Scottish Government insists patients continue to receive care while they remain in hospital and says while being discharged is preferable, there's no evidence to link the deaths of patients with delays in leaving. We don't ignore them. We don't not go and see them with doctors and nurses in clinical care. They are well looked after in the hospital. Their delay, though, means that we can't get them home or to a nursing home or with a social care package. And, and sometimes that may be in a more appropriate place for them to die, in fact, at home or in a nursing home, where the family are around them a little more. Ministers say they've given £33 million to the NHS to tackle the wider problem of bed blocking. Reva Alderson reporting Scotland.